Hey folks, welcome back to Manor Lords. And yep, there it is right there, 7.972. The update has finally hit. It's actually one stage beyond the updates that were already out there testing. And the changes are almost too numerous to go through. There's literally well over a hundred, maybe a couple hundred different alterations to the game. So it was a major update. Um, I zoomed in first here on the trading post because that's where a lot of the updates are. But there's, there, there's a lot of tweaks to farming. There's tweaks to sheep. There's tweaks to... We have a new king's tax that's going to uh, come into play at year five. I think there's one coin per citizen uh, per year at five. At year 10 is two per and year... 15 there's three per to you know penalize you for not building a, a thriving society that can afford it so there's yeah there, there's a lot to talk about trading we've now got the allow foreign trade or do not allow foreign trade meaning trade just within your own regions so there is that to explore i did notice something you want to trade something like weapons and you, you want to know how much you're going to get for them? Well, you're out of luck until you buy it. Yeah, they're, they're no longer going to let you know what the uh, what the market value is out there. I don't know if that was intended or not. Hopefully there aren't any uh, issues with my old save working into the new uh, the new rules. But uh, that surprised me right there when I, when I checked that out. Um, brewery's done over there in Samwise. And I've... Before I started this episode, I peeked over there at Gimli. I think we can go for a little while without having to pause the game. I think both the other two smaller uh, uh, provinces are, are functioning. We just got some money. Wow. I think trading has finally started to work. Mm-hmm. I have a feeling we're going to start seeing a lot of differences. Now, two biggies are right here. Trade logistics. It was capping at 25 last time. Now a trade route costs 50% less. So they're not going to let it go as, as easy as it was before. This one, was to, got, this one used to get rid of all the tariffs. Now it says what? Reduces the foreign tariff by half. Which makes trading with free merchants far more profitable. I'm not sure exactly what that means, to be honest. Free merchants, does that mean... Dealing with this part right here, rather than dealing with... Well, it no longer says that I have to buy the route. Okay, so free merchants might be this one versus a paid-for route. I'm not sure. We'll have to wait and see what that means. But we have uh, small shields, large shields, and we were wanting to also play with sidearms here soon. A well finished, no, yeah, well and a brewery finished over there. There's going to be a lot of messages coming up. I'm going to spend quite a while just just talking. This point over here we definitely want to get so we can invest in new trade routes, but it's not going to be as beneficial as the original design. And we need to get our tier 3 buildings in so we can get one more point. I assume we're going here. That's one, two, three, four for this one. I think that's what I'm doing here. And in order to do that, we need to get uh, ale over here, which means we need to get barley over here. Now, we already reset these last time to bring in barley for these. And we're still sending shields and spears over there. We've still got 11 shields and 15 spears. And that's more than we need. I think there's 28 over there now. So we'll, we'll stop that early. Um, big question mark says work area is empty. We ran out of berries just like that okay that is here that is here uh, right there so we can pull these families out this one out okay so an abandoned camp was sighted all right now I'm gonna have to just pause so I wanted to get barley coming in instead of berries from all the other uh, pack stations where are you at barley and otherwise everything there still looks right which one was that? It was not that one. Okay. Scroll down. Barley. And this guy over here. This guy. There you are. There you are. Yeah. That guy. Barley on you as well. Alright. So we'll see if those start to function better. 
all last episode we only made it up from 14 to 17 so we'll see how many we have at the end of this episode though the shields have been moving over a lot faster than the the spears but with that what happens if we try to trade our small arms so 72 is what it's going to cost us I'll admit I don't remember what that said before, though I have a feeling, I have a memory of like 140, but I'm not sure. So hopefully that is accurate. Okay, it doesn't affect our tariff yet though, we need another point to do that. So let's, although we could just say export now, we don't have to buy the route. There's no demand to buy routes anymore. So we could just put them out there, it's just, it's going to be passive instead of active. So it may well be, and you guys correct me if you're if I'm wrong, but the ones that we pay for are these the ones that we actually head out to on our own horse, or is that someone dedicated to coming into us and leaving? So I'm not sure. We'll just we'll just have to explore that. But we'll let that go for now. Let's see. I need to change one thing. Trade weapons, small sidearms, or. Yeah, sidearms. I need to make you a zero. All right, so that's done. Is it still correct over here? Large shields. We're not getting rid of small shields. We are. Uh, we need to set all these. Uh, we're at five again. So export you. And what did we get? We don't know. It's still NA. Hmm. Unless we buy the route, we won't know. Or maybe once we make our first trade, then we will know. That might be a thing, which means we need to trade one of everything and figure out what we want to even invest in. Hmm. Okay. So, exporting you, 0, 073. Exporting you, 70. Heading over to here. Wooden parts, 0. Exporting. Okay, that didn't change. Now, commodities, also. All of the major trades. So, over here, major trades would be roof tiles and blocks. Unknown. Let's just glance through this real quick. Anything else we'd want to major trade? And if I wanted to trade these in, I still have the tariff to deal with. Okay. So, trading out. We're not, we're not letting go of any of our food. Uh-uh. Vegetables. We're thankful to have it all. Iron ore. We're hanging on to. Metal. Let's see. Clay. So, we're keeping all of our basic um, ingredients. If we were to export anything, it'd be what we make, like shoes. So we could export you, keeping 100, and see what happens there. Um, 10 tools, and 15 spears. War bows we can now use. Heck, that's right. Let's go ahead and get that going. Army for Gandalf. War bows, archer militia, right there, and we're already set as far as population goes for 26 out of 36. They're already armed and ready. Now it says I can't move, but below the red numbers, the people and the war bows, you see the the helmet, the outfit, and the armor. I believe that is helmets and gambesons and armor. So all of these guys can take those, and we have none to offer them. So we obviously need to get into the uh, into the armoring business here real soon. That's kind of the idea for the sheep, which I did put somebody in here. So you are 2 of 45. That's been changed also. We'll have one new sheep every 10 days, I believe, is what it's set to now. That'll be coming in. But... We have the trading that's changed. Um, they will now mourn if they lose somebody in their family. And there will be a countdown like about a month before they will uh, a new person will come and join their family and bring the, the population back up to three in a house. The armor has a lot more variations now. The king's tax has been implemented. What else? The granary, The large granary building has been changed. We're over here. Where is another? Where is the bandit camp? Not over here. And I don't know. The bandit camps haven't changed too. Oh, there you are. 
Okay. So you guys will just do your own thing here in a little bit. I can just sit here. What else has changed? Um, there's a toggle now on buildings to determine whether or not you want them to be allowed to set up a market stall. So you could just have your, your warehouses and your uh, uh, granaries set up all the market stalls and leave your, your workers out in the field to do nothing but work out in the field. So that is a, uh, that is a thing. Let's make sure we've got 18 wide here. And is that... That's a pretty good spot, though if we went up a little bit further, they would be climbing just a little bit more before they got to us. So let's do that. I wish I could spread that out differently. Put those extras, you know, split the extras up at both ends. Last time they split us up and two or three went off to one side and everybody else went this way. And it wasn't uh, it wasn't the best situation. Um, the Lady of the Manor, when I hit this guy and get the, the, uh, the Lord of the Manor, which I guess I could do right now. Because there's a road in front of me. Aha. Uh, uh. There's our guys, and their guys were walking right down this hill. Where'd they go? Jump? Jump? No. <laughs> huh. They looked a lot closer before I hit that button. Where'd you guys go? Hello. And archers have been uh, uh, strengthened up greatly. Am I missing the whole thing? I don't know. Okay, we'll run back up our hillside here. Where did they go? And there is a new saint added to the the banners. It's uh, Maurice, I think it was. It was the name. But we'll run up to our guys here. There they are. There they are. Okay, we'll work our way through the, uh, the, the brush over here. And, oh, they're getting ready. They're going to start... Yeah, they're going to start doing their yelling and throwing some shade out there. There you go, guys. <laughs> doing the wave. <laughs> Here they come. You guys just watch the battle. Front row seat. Them. I guess there's a lot of new uh, animations now in the uh, in battles. All right, pull out of that. Yeah, and anim more animations were added to the battle scenes, and we're there. I wonder if they're smarter now and can actually take one of these without being babysat. Let's uh, yeah, I'll make sure the arrow lands in the box anyway. But that is done. And back to over here. Let's go back to Gimli. All right. I had pulled somebody out of one of the buildings. Out of the... Here? Yeah. We we can do this all winter long. So let's get more houses built real quick. So we can get this from, uh, from climbing too badly to the negative. So we need houses here and eventually I guess we could activate that second house but let's get the garden going first back in there. Otherwise we have these four going. So two families working. We should be pretty low on berries by now. Almost done. 22 left. Yeah, I'll let you guys just finish that off. 22. Will they fit in there? Meaning will this guy Looks like you're on your way in from... Alright, you were transporting berries. You just made a trip out there. Now you're going to pedal. You are transporting meat from the granary. Okay, granary, yeah. These are here. They're loading this back up. Granary worker then is going to go get some more berries. Great. So you will bring berries in fast enough to keep that storage from overfilling with those last 22. Um, that's not what I want. Over here... All right, so logging camp, and we have five logs in stock there. We have nine available to us at the moment. A bunch of trees down here. I need to get them back into here and doing this. Um, we need to get forestry in here for... Um, forestry? No. Um, woodcutter for firewood. And that may as well be over here because we need to take this whole area out. 
So let's think about, and I want to get you more in this direction. Tavern's finished. Oh, good. Uh, this is Gimli. And when I loaded in the first time before I loaded in to record, it left me locked in as Gandalf here. I had all kinds of great numbers st sitting here staring at this. So that that little problem is still in the game. It still doesn't know where we are sometimes. But Forester is, or Woodcutter is this one. And exactly where? Kind of want you in deeper just because it looks right. So, there, oh, there's a spot right there. Can I go deeper? Anything up in there? Nope, that's as deep as I go. Right in there. And yeah, I think that's the right orientation. So it gets you going. No great rush. You guys have how much firewood still? Uh, 18. So we're fine there. These houses will quickly grab one once they, once someone moves in, and that will, it will say that it has fueled. You are in. We only have three left. I thought it here was a general. Fueled, there we go. You, General, not fueled. So we're waiting for one of these people to rush over here. Am I paused? I'm paused. Rush over here and grab some firewood and take it home and and uh, satisfy that. Okay, get rid of Snap to Roads. We have our woodcutter's hut. We're going to need a tanner in here. So saw pit, we're going to need that as well. Let's get everything set. They'll all come in, I assume, after the houses, but I guess I could verify that and let's see I want another message hey they got it right this time let's pause let's put you like so that seems to be a pretty good configuration you're gonna go there let's make sure the houses did get or will be built at a higher highest and high and high so you're above everything else message we are sending to our treasury from now on if we're going to be paying a king's tax, we need to get this built up. We are in year four, so we've got six months until our king's tax hits, and I'm guessing we have that year to pay for it. I think that is a thing. Okay, so let's move over to where it had said camp, and that's our guys now. And we now have actually our own province to pull back into curious to see what happens if I know that um, there's been some changes in regard to how the Baron acts toward us as well so over time we'll see how he reacts if we're not actually in here when a bandit camp hits will he fire off armies thinking nobody's here to clear them out I don't know how that AI has changed in that regard so we'll we'll keep an eye on that um, Gimli Let's kind of finish up anything that goes here. Um, that was a saw pit, and I want the tanner, which is here, but industry. Leather, there you are. You're coming out of this area somewhere. You're right in there. I don't know if that's going to stay or not. Let's go back into here a little bit. And I think a pathway going up the side would probably look good, so let's kick you this way. Right out the backyard, maybe this house will be, uh, yeah, probably not if it's going to become an artisan later. Well, we'll just sit you here. What was that noise? We finished the tavern. Uh, treasury change registered, and, well, that was the, the bandit camp, and finished the burgage plot. Let's go look at that tavern real quick. Um, I did put a family in the new malt house. We have not made anything yet, which is interesting. So, barley, barley right in there. 19, we had 25. So, they make the malt, then the malt goes to the brewer and general. We, family members, things have happened. Um, we do have malt over here, and we have a little bit of ale. So, we could start triggering this to happen, or we could hang on to the ale, because we're not going to have much for long. Let's wait so we can get in here when I have time to think and satisfy the needs fast enough to be able to trigger a few tier threes so we can get into this right here. So we have taken one, two, three. We're looking for our fourth point, which is probably right here. So we can start trading between each other 
for a little bit less, though. We got to get into here to make it functional. At least we can. Well, maybe that's not as important now, since we don't. We're not forced to buy any trade routes. I've got to tell me. Let me know what you guys think about that. Does this? <clears throat> Where am I? Here? No. I always lose the the trader in this this map. Oh, you're mixed into the houses now. Okay. So a trade over here without buying the route. How functional is it? Is that just someone who happens to be wandering by once in a while? Or is, you know, how important is it to buy the route? That's what I don't know. What are the what are the numbers? How much improvement really is there and is it worth the cost? So that's what I'm not too sure of yet. Okay, so tannery is in. I wanted to throw a road over to here, there, up into there. I think that would be wise. We did throw a road up into here. And... Hmm. What to do with this curve? Something like this that starts to curve off into where? We could just kind of curve through the woods and on up into here. I can't go further. Uh... There. Take it? Yeah. Just to, I don't know, act like that was intended to be there. Although I guess it would have come out of here if I had done that. Thought about that more. But anyways, you guys are coming back in. Alright. So, Tanner is in. And Church needs to go in. But we don't have the, the planks yet. And a manor needs to go in. Am I missing any other basic buildings? Um, I know the idea of a work camp has left the game. So, the uh, Settler's Camp used to be able to improve it into a work camp. And I think there was a tab that allowed you to set up a work camp. So, it was temporary housing somewhere. That's been taken out until it's more properly implemented. That's what they said. The manor, we, we are not at a small village yet. So, we're still at a Settler's Camp. Okay, so when we get all five of these, we'll get into that. Um, so, that's a no... Okay, anything over here? We've got um, saw pit, we've got woodcutters, we've got logging, we've got both the foods. Um, development point, okay. And before, I don't think it even showed these until you had the development point. I wonder. Another family's moved in? We're in August. So, is getting off doing that good? No. I thought maybe it was at 75. No, we're still kind of low numbers all the way around. All right, so over here, thinking about numbers, it would make sense that we get a little bit of taxes on on its way in. Five and probably a five on the, on the tithing as well. Continue to build that influence. That's probably the right thing to do over there. Um, so happening over here, we are making beer now. We're making ale. We could fire this up. I'm going to wait a little bit longer. Um, although, work area's empty. Work area's empty. Oh, yeah, logs. We had told them to clear out the rest of this so we can set up this... Uh, was it this one? No, it was this one. So we can set up this area, this, uh, this field soon. Okay, so where to clear trees out here? We don't want to impede any more into this area or this area. So we're leaving the rest of that alone. Um, nothing really going on over here. We don't have quite the forests in this province that we have in Gandalf. So I've got to be careful about about uh, logging this place out before we get a chance to get the, uh, um, the forester up and running. But that said, we are going to be doing a lot more agriculture here. So... With that, what do we want to do? Let's see flax. So a little nub over here, which we may as well make use of for the farm that's going to be in this area. You are a tavern. There was going to be a farm here 
to capitalize in this area. Whereas this farm here was going to take care of this area and I guess Emmer out in somewhere. Hmm. Was that always like that? I thought Emmer had darker green out to here. Interesting. Because we were going to Emmer this. It did. I think they nerfed Emmer. That's interesting. Yeah, this was all dark green because I was going to, you know, that, that was going to be the next uh, Emmer field. I just didn't do it because the trees hadn't been taken out yet. Oh, so Flax was over here. We can't really trust that at the moment because it's been draining the, uh, the nutrients. Though nutrient drain has been changed, but maybe it has also been uh, altered otherwise too. Interesting. Hmm. So whether a farm is going to land over here or not now, I have no idea. And But I was looking at that to see where I wanted to cut trees down next. Okay. So that makes sense. Barley. I'm not seeing a lot of the dark greens around like I used to. Am I? Huh. Well, I we can definitely take this area out. And how are we on logs? We got 14. We're ahead of what we're building over here. So running them around in circles doesn't seem like too bad of an idea right now. So let's just advance you into this area and take out take out these. Take out these. I'll leave these. I kind of think that it'd be nice to see this this one tree left over here. Yeah, this area is not going to be a field like all the rest of the areas. You guys are cleaning out clay. You are starting to make clay tiles. We commodities? Oh, there's clay. So where are the clay tiles? That's building. Yeah, that's a construction. So roof tiles three right now. So we will hang on to those planks we got plenty of. Yeah, we'll hang on to those two. We've got like 24 for, I think it's four each for tier two. Find me a tier, tier three. You, tier three needs four. So we'll save several of these for that. All right, do I need to be here until September? That's asking myself, is there any buildings that are building? Tell you what, those are done. You're at 13. You have one in there. Um... Hides are only two, so our tanner's doing fine. What else can we set you guys to doing? Though I'm tempted to set a Fletcher in. I really think that might be wise. Rather than trying to, to haul them over here through the pack system. Let's do that. We're, 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 mm, we're going to need to strip every job out for the harvest, but... Hmm, let's wait on that. The arrows, the bows build pretty quickly. Let's wait on that till after harvest is done. Okay, what else can I do with two of these three right at the moment? Um, I could put somebody in here. And I don't need any more planks. We got 84, so you don't need to be in there. I don't need help with the tannery, don't need help with the berries. We barely have enough animals for the one family. Um, I guess just as a placeholder, stick you guys in there so you got... Well, no, I could put you guys into clay. I could do that. You guys pop into there also. And clay, what did I say? 18. So one more in there and one more in here. Tavern, clay furnace. Okay, so you guys do that. Requires refueling. You guys have been here for a while, and why have you not brought firewood over? People uh, transporting firewood. Yeah, right, right there. Okay, so you're good. So you guys are fine until September. Um, one last check on Gimli. And you guys, there is no advantageous place to leave you, is there? Uh, we could get up into here. No, that is the other province. We're wooded right to the edge over here. Okay. Advantageous distance wise. 
would be probably closer to here. Let's grab the 24 and set you up. Actually, we just set you up over here for a good marching formation. Okay, you guys go there, otherwise you're set. Alright, so Gimli... What else truly needs to be done right now? One, two, three, four, five is there. Uh, this needs to be done. You need to be vegetables. And then you need to have a new living space put in at the highest priority and we'll be good for for our sixth family at that point. One, two, three, four, five, six. There wasn't a, another plot place anywhere, wasn't there? There wasn't, okay. You still have six timber available. Let's put one in, though I don't know exactly where. Our first artisan could be. We go uphill pretty quickly, so there's not going to be much of a backyard over here. And let's let's set one of those or two of those in. So let's throw a road around here. Uh, let's just build that so we can make this a little bit tighter. And right across like so. Yep, I like that. And let's grab house. And from here? From crossroad. Oops. There. To something like that. Pull back. What's that look like? That's kind of interesting. Gives us a double in there too. We can't do all of that though. So let's go from here over. And can I get into the point? I can go around. That's kind of interesting. We'll do that. And out to, say, that contour line. Okay, that kind of works. Now, do I want doubles in here? We'll do doubles in that next plot. We'll do right over there. Like that. Yep, I think that works. That should give us an artisan in all three of these. Hit you. You guys can do that and there's no rush. Alright, so I think we're okay over here. Uh, pull out of that food. 32 and that is it. Um, we only have 15 left. We only, Though keeping it is not critical now. I don't have to buy a trade route. But 15 only buys vegetables. It doesn't buy chickens. Okay, so not much I can do there. It's getting dark, so it must be a storm coming in. So am I able to walk away from here now? I guess once, one, two, three, four, once this house goes in, I think we can handle that with one family. Well, go keep the two families. It'd be nice to have that in by September so this can go away rather than roll that into another month. Okay, rain's about to start. Let's go spend some time over here in Gandalf before the harvest starts. And then I have to pause and reset everybody. So you are still two of. And how are we doing by curiosity? Field 53% fertility. Was that there? Before? I think that was there before. We're at 50% growth and 44, 42. These three have gone longer. Oh, we're, we're there. We could get that going. You are 100. You are 100. So that has been changed too. How quickly they grow and all the, the AI behind all of that. So these are the ones that are not. We could trigger this one and get that going. Get wheat in that much faster. Get bread coming in. I kind of like that idea. That was rain coming in. I'm going to stay paused for a moment. Take advantage of this. Um, I need to pull families out. I'm going to leave two families in here. And who is going to run? You know, let's let's turn that off for here. I don't know if that will go away, though. We have two. Let's see if we can make it go away. All right, we'll do that. So we're going to get rid of one of our stalls. Now, we have to be careful about that. We still have the issue of having only so much coverage, you know, available. So fuel, right now, we're in great shape, which I'm, I'm pretty sure this has probably been recalculated as well. So the amount of stalls that we have, so that's right. Seems like the distance for the, no, 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 never mind. I was reading the notes for Farthest Frontier. Now, that one's doing some major 
uh, quality of life updates too. They're getting ready to hit their 1.0, and their main um, oh the what was that the market place I think it was called kind of like what this game does with markets here. They have one main marketplace with a great big circle of influence that services all the houses in this area. That per apparently that has been greatly increased so you have a lot more flexibility you don't have to try to cram everything in a tight circle around it so yeah, a lot of improvements going on over there and i would love to do a series in that game as well it seems to be finally growing up you know it's 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 in a stage right now where it looks like it would be very enjoyable to play but um the more of these that we toss out the less we're going to get placed which is going to limit the locations and limit the capacity we need to be able to have so many things in you know so many stalls to have so many leather and shoes out there in order to satisfy the needs so there is that to think about you don't shut down too many stalls but i need to find eight families where do we start to cut things out how are we on charcoal fuel 29 charcoal. It is not going very quickly, and I don't remember any notes regarding it. But storage is 19. Storage is 10. Let's pull one person out of there and two out of there. It's not critical to keep that going, but we'll keep the... Although... Yeah, let's pull one of you out. One. No, you're going to keep it. Ah, right there. Alright, we'll do that. Um, the other one was a trader. We'll pull these out. I think so. And let's keep one going in each just to keep something happening in each one. Okay, I think that's a route to go there. One over there and you do get to do it. You are woodcutter. We have plenty of firewood. We'll keep the one going just to kind of keep a presence there. But let's go ahead and do that same thing. Take you out minus plus. All right, so we just eliminated a lot of stalls, so let's not go any more in regard to um, storehouse or firewood. I think we've 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 hurt that enough already. Would like another family in here, and although where are we planting? Where are we planting right here? And it's actually doing a pretty good job. There are a lot of trees in there now. There are. That was that was wide open before. Interesting. Okay, maybe that maybe the growth rate has been increased. Um, so you can be fine. We're at five. Let's. Where can I steal a few more? Food I don't want to touch. We are forty of forty. We just don't have enough in here, and I want to make advan make use of every bit of it that I can. So you're in there. You're in there. I'll leave these stalls for now. Leave food alone. You are nobody. You. We're going to be running out of that. No, we're fine. So I'll leave you alone. So we're at four. Uh, I'm not going to touch the sheep this time. Who else? You are empty. Okay. Uh, church is empty. You're empty. Not going to touch you. So not many places left other than pack stations, which I'm not going to touch. Um, over here, there's nobody in our logging camp. we got to get somebody in the logging camp. There's only one timber. Okay, so now I'm down to three. I'm going backwards here. Nothing there. Nothing there. Uh, one saw pit. And we're at zero planks. Because we were running out of logs. Okay. How do we have so many families and I can't find eight that I can steal? That seems kind of odd. Like I need to go through and take a real census of where all of our families actually are. Interesting. Well, let's put the three that we have in there and let's set you three to forced early harvest and hope that I remember to undo forced early harvest. But let's go ahead and get those happening. And maybe that will give us the the earlier start that we need in order to uh, uh, offset not have enough families to do this. But there's got to be more families somewhere. What else is out here? You're a sheep farm, and that is it. We don't need anybody in there, and there's nobody in there. Okay. Um, there's got to be more families. Um, we've got here, and we've got here. Three and three seems like the right spread. I don't want to touch food, but I guess I could. We do have a food booth happening out of one of those. Did you not go down? 
There you go. Granary? Oh, that's still the small granary. That's why I was expecting four in there. You, I guess we'll take you down by one more too. So that's... What happened there? Wait a minute here. I pulled somebody out and it stayed at three. Did I see that wrong? I wonder if there were four in there before. And with the update, it went down to three, but it was still counting the fourth one. I wonder. Um, there's six. We're not building anything that I know of, so there shouldn't be a problem there. So in this case, what happens over here? Um, you. Growth. 100%. Okay, well, let's start the process over here too. Where can I steal families? I wish I could take the, the two out of the manor. Uh, we don't need this. This is not critical. You guys can go. And that's a tavern. Let's pull one out. One can continue to build out of what was made. You guys do that. Let's get you started. Set all four of you. Okay. Oh, wrong one. Oh. We do have two. We do have two. Let's do that. And... Hmm... Yeah, I gotta figure this one out. We'll skip the plowing station this time. Let's get two of you going and two of you going. Set more of you and set more of you. Okay, so I'll let you run now. So you are 100% force early and you can have your oxen back, ox back right there. Okay, I could put two into each one of them. That's what I was debating what to do there. But I'd have to have somebody in reserve to be able to build this, or this all goes away. You know, it won't be able to use it as a farm for a while. Uh, Barley, you are 100% force early. We hit force early. We didn't. Uh, 100, yep. You, force early, 100. You guys are not early, right? Now you're there too. So I don't believe it's going to be able to go over 100%. So we'll just let that happen. You guys, you guys are not. You are not. So I feel like I'm missing one. You guys? There. Got you. Did not get you. Okay. Got you. Three. Four. Five, six. All right, so you guys can all get started on that. I haven't, I don't believe I have set any kind of a work area. I have not. And have not. Okay, so they'll all work on whatever is closest to them at this point. And then I'll decide, we'll see how this goes. I'm already 40 some minutes into this, so it's probably going to be next episode that I go through, or even in between episodes maybe. I'll go through and divide these up. Unless I don't do that this year. Um, and make a, all these smaller fields. Like I had talked about last episode. Alright, so where else can I steal? People. Uh, you. We can pull one of you out. And we have an empty work area. You are a forager. Pull you out. And you're done. The We have one family in here. And that's working. Okay. So we'll leave you alone. There's nobody in the windmill. Though I could put somebody in here pretty... S oh, you already... I was going to say, where'd they go? But I already preset to pull them into the farm. Okay, so that's good. You are... Okay, you guys are not running. One in there. Small stable. Nobody is running that. And Burgage Plots. None of these are businesses. You are a wooden church. We've already pulled you out. We did get the one grave. And... Plot, plot... And trading posts, one family in there. All right, so let's. Anything we can be doing with our trading post? We have stone, we have planks, we're not going to touch any of those. Let's go straight to here. We have one extra large shield at the moment. And you, 12 ale, we're not going to touch. We have big numbers. No, we have herbs. And I keep getting told that these are for export not for use I'm I'd like to know if that's really certain but I will say we'll we'll just maintain uh, 
five of our own. Anything else going on in here? Clay and firewood we're not going to sell. Leather we're going to use. We've got berries we're not going to sell. Okay, crops we're not touching. And we've got the roof tiles, which we're not touching. We will eventually. Okay. All right, leave that alone. So we do have a family in there. They're not going to be doing much. They're not going to be doing much. Let's just pull them out and use them. Okay, so there's that. You're already doing that. You're already in one of the farms. And we're done. The one left in there. Can't touch that. So that gives us three families in there, four families in there. Let's pull one out, put you in here. So three and four, you're near the nearer to the majority of it. You actually are. Pull you out too. And just distribute them differently. So that is everybody. And nobody is out there building. We didn't set the Fletcher. So that can wait till afterward. And I don't see anybody else that I can steal. Tannery? Just one in there, right? Just one in there. And actually we, we can we can do without you for a little while too. Okay, um, though how about the storehouse? We have three in there, and the granary, we have three in there. I don't remember what the other model looked like to see if they really changed it, though I do remember it not being very big. I remember the small one looks like this, and the, the large one didn't look a whole lot bigger. Big footprint for a smaller building, so I think they, they went to the larger building that is similar to this one the for the warehouse. And they said the doors now work properly, so I guess they didn't before. Someone's in there. I just saw that close, so we'll here, wait a moment to see if they, uh, if somebody's actually in there. There we go. Okay, so we're pulling in. We, hmm, I would love to get the the uh, ox going in the other farm. I guess that's for next time, right here. Do I... How many ox are available in this one? There's three. Let's go ahead and put two into here. Advance. We'll set a second one in. Okay. So, chance for two different fields being plowed at the same time. Pantry is full. And Gimli just got a point. Alright. Let's stay... Pause for a moment. And let's deal with all these. So, Gimli is over here. Gimli is going to focus on iron though we are nowhere near ready to benefit from that where do we most need to benefit i don't know how powerful this is now now that we don't have to buy a trade route so i'm waiting for you guys to answer me on your your logic behind yes or no we can get access to everything now but it is it is it not very good access um we could boost up foods since we're going to have a hard time getting food over we proved that with Gandalf trying to get berries over and that was like pulling teeth so we need to be self-sufficient over here um, we're not going to be into heavy agriculture so this whole line doesn't do much good except sheep breeding does have the benefit of bringing in extra wool to make gambesons this is going to be a heavy um, armor based uh, chain over here. Did you? Are you new? I don't remember going three deep over here before. Maybe it was already there. Was that the only one that went three deep? Maybe that was the only one. Anything else new? No. I didn't see any notes about any new uh, development point perks, so I guess that was there. Okay. So, yeah, plate armor, that was there. I remember it now. Okay. So we want to go down this run and charcoal. So there's four that I'm committing to already, but they are not the first four. So it's either something like that, or something like that, or something like that. Though that is a long way away. That is a long distance away. This would give us more a more immediate benefit. It would, which doesn't give us more leather directly but it does give us the ability to hunt twice as many animals because they'll breed twice as fast which will bring leather in twice as fast so we don't we're going to get twice as much even without making it this far yeah um i think that's the answer 
but I'm going to not click this point just yet. Give you guys a chance to uh, throw some ideas around in the uh, in the comments. Otherwise, that's built, that's built, and we're going to be taking these away here pretty soon. We have three more to build here. We have that to build there, so I think Gimli is fine for a while. We'll leave you alone. The other, although Gimli is out of berries, so we can pull a family back out. So you're going to come back out. We now have three available. What do we need? We need to make sure that we've got planks going and logs going over here. So you're going, you need to be built. <laughs> okay, so you're not a thing yet. Tannery still needs to be built. So let's make sure we've got all the foods coming in. So you're coming in now and you have somebody and you should have somebody. All right, so that's everything represented. Leather is not rolling in yet. So that's the one thing is not represented yet and that is out of here. And just kind of dawned on me. This is close by this and this. That makes sense. But it is a stinky thing. And I don't know at what point we're finally going to get... Come on, pull out. Has that been there the whole time? It might have been. I don't even see the sides. Um, at some point, this is going to happen. It might happen before this series is over. So I've got to at least kick around the idea there. So in that case, let's demolish you and let's set a new one real quick. So that is industry and leather. So you, we are into the emmer over here, the, the weaker emmer. Well, not really, just you are. Okay, then I can go over here fine for the, uh, although we're going to have housing here, we're not going to have housing there. Can I push it in far enough? I bet you I can get into right there. What's emmer look like at that point? We're fine. Let's see if I can get into that void right there. You tannery. I'll bet you there's a spot there somewhere. Thought there was a click. There's one. We can go actually move around quite a bit in there. And I can get even closer to this. Can I spin and do that? I can. So you are the what? I don't remember. Woodcutter's Lodge. Okay. So you're Woodcutter's Lodge and you up the same road that sneaks into that area. We'll do that. And grab a road. Pull you down. Eh, we'll just kind of weave you around the trees and come on in. Just like so. This is going to be kind of a dirt area so whether or not we go around or it just kind of merges into all the dirt in the area that's fine enough um so that moved the tannery i think now i can call this area good one family building everybody else is being productive okay so you're fine you guys are still happy over here you uh fantastic yeah you're, you're doing great all right so that is there but there was something else that happened development point that's what happened okay so hunting is Still doing really, 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 really great over here. And I think it would be wise just to keep that rolling in. But you are fine. We'll pull somebody out of here and put you into... You're about... To, yeah, we need to get granary, work, or, or, yeah, granary workers going. That's really what's going on. Okay. You're about to overload as well. Okay. I need another granary worker. I need an upgraded granary. Let's leave the one, and let's get you... I don't have logs or planks. You're going into there. Okay. So we'll let those build up. I think we'll turn planks off for a little bit, though. And just let the logs build. So you're coming out. I can't afford you. And I guess you're going in. So I still didn't find another family for over here to help with the... Uh, uh, with the... Yeah, that stuff words are not coming to my brain right now I'm just I'm, I'm piecing together what's happening here why are you did I do that by mistake because you weren't done I think I did you by mistake if I undo you can I I can't gain anything out of that okay and you probably need to already be 
I wonder if I can even delete you when you're in this state. I don't know. You are Harvest Progress 88, and they're already starting to plow and already starting to sow. So they're just working through. They're, this is different than before. It really is. Interesting. So I didn't even really get a chance to even stop and think about whether I wanted to fallow something. So I guess we're going to have to just stop right now and, and think that through. What fallows? Um, you, I need to get into here and get into Emmer. So nothing is truly functional right now. So you definitely fallow next time. There we go. Fallow, fallow. All right. I think they all fallow next time. I think we need to build everything up. So let's go that route. You're going to fallow. You are going to fallow. So why does it say they're sowing again? If you're set to fallow next time. That I'm a little curious about. Let's set everything to a double fallow. And just kind of force the issue. Fallow, fallow. You will be... Uh, is that not a field? That's not a field. Uh, you, fallow, fallow. I feel like I missed one somewhere. Right there. Right there. Right there. They should not be selling anything. Yet, it acts like it's happening. Let's see what the graphics say. Uh, pull away. We're just moving on. Oh, I got rid of forest early harvest. I guess turn you back on. Sure. Well, nah. you'll happen in September no matter what. Sorry, confused you. But over here... So, yeah, this is interesting how they're, how they're dealing with this. I can't actually see anybody plowing or sowing. They are just harvesting. So it's almost like it's not reporting properly. So you are full, you are full. Yeah, and I've got nobody to add to this beyond this point to help you guys pull this stuff out. I'm just going to have to let you sit there for a little bit. Um... I guess I could. Hunters. Hunters. Where am I at? Here. Pull one more out of there. Yeah. Pull you out of there. And put both of you guys into the... Into making logs. Right there. And one into planks. And let's get... Uh, let's get the ability to do this upgrade. Which is logs and planks. Okay. So that's happening over there. Anything else to check on over here? Is there anything I've missed in regard to the the update that we haven't talked about? I know that uh, ale has ale consumption has been balanced, but there's there's you know, like that, there's dozens and dozens of things throughout the whole game that have been balanced and rethought through. And I did want to check to see if we have more than 17 over here. We have 19 now. So in an hour, we managed to move two more spears. <laughs> we have enough. I just saw that uh, right there. We have enough um, shields, 36 of 36. So let's turn all of the uh, spear transports into shield transports and get that done i say that right shield into spear so no more shields you guys are all doing spears until that job is done and then i have no idea what i want you to do because i don't know how long it's going to take you to actually do them that's a spear you are a shield you need to be a spear right there and over here there's one shield i think this one yeah you are spear so we have six of them moving spears now. So if we can just get one of them to do it per episode, we'll, we'll be most of the way there. All right, you're all doing spears for barley. Any barley actually make it over? Over here, we have 16 barley. Do we have a family in here? We do not. So now we have a family in here. Yeah. Um, all right, we'll pull out the last of the charcoal and the last of you. No more charcoal. Let's get that going. Let's get the tavern employed soon next episode we'll make that happen and maybe get some tier three started up and i've burned through another hour already that just blows me away i feel like we've we, we made the progress of like three weeks yeah that's with three 
villages running we're going to see progress slow down tremendously because there's just so much to get done simultaneously throughout the map plus our our once an episode bandit raid bandit camp yeah that's that's just going to be the pattern for a while until we get uh, something different happening maybe as we get through here and after the episode i'll go through and and choose the the fields follow what i need to check all the fertilizations and do all that off camera this time we don't need to see that happen again but i think with that i'm gonna have to call this one done so thanks for watching folks and i'll catch you next time bye bye now